I just wanted to share a few little Christmas present ideas. I might come up with some more later on, but obviously it's only a few weeks to Christmas now, so I thought I'd better share this with you now before too much time goes past. I was going to like do a proper sit down video, I thought no, I said I would keep this casual. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit here, I've got some in front of me, I'll just talk you through them quickly and then I'll try and link them below if possible. Uh, most obviously are Australian, obviously I can buy all these things in Australia, well no I can't, I lie. Most of these things are available in Australia, some are from overseas so some you're able to get, we're able to get similar things overseas. So anyway, let's get on with these casual Christmas gift ideas video, part of the video. Mm. First thing is my new phone case. So if you've got someone who's got a phone, you need a phone case, these are um, peel up phone cases and they are all um, sustainable, so it's your biodegradable case. And I think some of the money goes to the, like this one goes to conser conservation of turtles. They've got a whole big range, they've got some little grippy things. I think Thea and Dan are both getting grippy things in their Christmas stocking. Can't show you because it's not here yet. But yeah, definitely worth having a look. I can't quite remember the company. I'll link below where I got them from in Australia because they're only recently available here. But yeah, it's a really nice case. I'm really happy with it. Perfumes for obviously um, people who like to wear perfume. <laughs> so these are Pacific ones I bought in the States last year. So I think these all came from Whole Foods. I'm not sure where all Pacific are sold in America, but I reckon these are a great stocking stuffer. So. Um, that was roll on ones, they come in a glass bottle but they're really good for travel they don't, I've not had any break at all or anything like that and then they have a larger one which is what I use at home and these just have a little squirty top this is the orange one, this is one of my favourites <laughs> but they're all really nice I've had a lot of different ones and they seem to last a long time and I, like, I kind of like that they're small and that they come in little glass bottles yeah obviously they're vegan cruelty free they have got all little thingy boys on them <laughs> this i already showed you i think yeah no, i did i mean she showed you this in the grocery haul I just got this from woolworths a cute little um word search coloring book and again that would fit in a lot of stockings and i have to curve it a little bit i bought that for myself but you know if you've got someone who's into you know coloring in and things like that. Actually, I think Athena would have enjoyed this when I showed it to her. I think she would have liked that. So I may even pick one up for her stocking. Candles are always a winner. This one is the citronella one. So this is Byron Bay candles. Um, I'm try I haven't tried this candle yet, but I really like this company because you can actually buy just the refill candle. You don't have to buy another whole glass container, which I think is a great idea. So I've actually got my mum a gift set like that and they do the same with the reed diffusers so you can get the refills. But there's a lot of like nice soy companies on eBay. You could look in your area for a soy candle and just knowing that they're supporting a small business or a small like an individual person. I also think candle making kits would be a good idea for a gift and that's something I'm thinking of picking up for Athena because I think she would enjoy making her own candles. Um, I can link to an Australian eBay seller below who I know does that. That's where I'm gonna get it from. But yeah, these um so we've got the stitch in the one to go outside. And I have I didn't buy any for myself because I've got candles to get through, so I was being very good because I really would like to get some more from this Byron Bay company and then get the refills. This is another little uh, Australian uh, company. I guess they're little, they're not a big <laughs> maybe medium small to medium perhaps size company. They do a lot of Disney stuff, a lot of collabs with Disney. So this is a little glass lantern. You can see it has a votive candle in here. I'm not unwrapping it because for a gift. I've got one for myself, but it's upstairs. And yeah, I'm not going upstairs right now. These are really nice. And they also sell a whole lot of earrings, some Disney earrings, some non-Disney earrings. But again, good stocking stuffer because they come in a little glass jar with a little thing like this, which obviously you could use for things later on. So yeah, the ear, this is my set that's in my stocking <laughs> that I bought for myself. Christy's picked some for herself and they often, they just come out with a new Disney collaboration, Woodland, I think, something like that. Woodland Disney, something up to that effect. They do have sales from time to time, so you can always keep an eye out for them, but I 
recommend having them having a look at this store they've got some really nice things okay stasher bags <laughs> people who are those eco-friendly um friends or family members absolutely love stasher bags kevin's bought a few other copies or cheaper brands and they don't hold they're not as good they're not as good so why these are expensive i think they're definitely a worthwhile investment that's how i look at it um, I just got myself a few extras because <laughs> I've used most of mine in the freezer for my beans and stuff. But again, a good stocking stuffer. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to get a couple for Athena. I know she's wanting to get some. She hasn't got any yet because again, they're expensive. But the cheaper ones just don't compare. They open up. They're hard to close. Certainly, I haven't found any good ones anyway. Not to say there aren't any, but I have not found any better than the stasher ones and they're pretty much the original ones around so i kind of also like to support that in a company as well okay some food items i've got these fancy popcorns one's going to be for dan and one's going to be for kevin i'm not sure they're going to fit in the christmas stockings but we also have christmas baskets for things that don't fit in the stockings so <laughs> i'll go in one of them but i think you know again for a food gift they are in plastic unfortunately but I think that's a nice little gift to get some fancy food things that people probably wouldn't buy for themselves. Can't quite remember how much they were. Um, also, I've got Kevin this chutney from the supermarket. And you can also get fancy like chocolate spreads and stuff. I'm going to order one online for Dan, I think. Um, so some, just some fancy food bits and pieces that people might like. I thought Kevin might like that. He likes mango, coconut and habanero. So... And then <laughs> Kit Kat. Most people like things like that. I've got vegan chocolate to go in mine, but you know, whatever people like. But some Christmas themed is fun. There's not a lot of Christmas themed food in Australia, but they did have a little Santa Kit Kat. And I've got some the elves, a popping corn elves for Christy, and I've got some reindeer Maltesers for Dan as well. So again, they won't go in the stocking though. So. You know that can go in the stocking <laughs> funny thing to get in your stocking but anyway <laughs> why not these cute little bags i got on ebay from an australian um seller i bought this one for myself it's obviously if you know disney it's tiki room inspired and i've got some of these as gifts for the pal friends for their birthdays i've got them during the year but again a little stocking stuffer actually i think i've got one for christy for her stocking i've forgotten about it to find it or for athena actually probably one for both of them <laughs> to track them down where they've gone to but you know you can put you know a bit of money in them they can fit cards in them you could put you know feminine products in them different uses i don't even know what i'm going to use mine for yet i just thought it was really cute i love the material on this one with the um, tiki room very cute but they had all different disney and i think some non-disney ones as well but again i think they're a really cute little stocking stuffer Another thing I picked up from the supermarket was this music quiz game. They had some movie ones. These were a game from Woolworths. And I just thought, may or may not fit in the stocking. Might fit in the basket. But we always have a games day on Boxing Day. So I'll give it to Kevin as part of his gift. But obviously we'll all get to use it and enjoy it. And just questions. And you keep a note of your score. But I thought that could be quite fun. Did I have anything else? a few other ideas worth mentioning again for or for men or women is some skincare if you know it's something that they're into um it's a great if you're in australia sukan sukan or jojoba are both great products great calm have a great range of the products um, both vegan quality free tick all those things australian owned um so I recommend both of those brands. I'm sure in America there's other brands that could be recommended. So we research this sort of, yeah. Again, in the jojoba, if you want to get something a bit more luxury, get them a jojoba oil. Again, a little more expensive, but just something a little bit special to fit in a Christmas stocking. I'm going to the candles artwork on Etsy. There's so many great pieces of art. Um, it can be hard because it can be quite personal but you might see something and you might just know the person that that would suit i've actually got my dad a map a wollongong map 
and I'm going to get that framed for his Christmas present and he's very hard to buy for and I saw these maps and I think most locations you could find a map on Etsy now and get it printed and get it framed a lot of people do like where they get married or where they grew up or where they live now so you can get different different ones if you've lived in different states or different cities you could have a range of them you could start a collection for the person but yeah I think they're a great idea with sort of nice artwork on Etsy homemade treats can't really go too wrong with that I mean obviously you can buy things you can also make things and I think most people do enjoy a nice homemade treat oh we're making shortbread the non-vegan version my mum's asked me to make for my um auntie cousin and cousin-in-law I guess she is and also well I'll be making some vegan shortbread for Christmas but you know edible gifts are always a winner or um plants too these days you can't go too wrong I don't think with a potted plant because most people seem to be into plants so that, again if you know someone's into plants you could always get a plant for their collection um a fancy tea or a fancy coffee again I think would be a nice gift for that person who loves tea or coffee if you know what they again sort of the, what they're into like Kevin likes these little Nespresso capsule things I like nice loose leaf teas, <laughs> black teas. So, but these are ideas that would suit a lot of people. I think beer would be another thing. We've got someone who's into beer, got some, some specialty beers, fancy beers to try. Last year I bought um, a gift voucher for our friend Noel to go to a nearby pub or brewery and he got like a sampler thing of beers and some to take home and a refill of the whole set so he could do bits and pieces with it. I hope he got to use it with the pandemic. I haven't heard whether he's got to use it or not, but I'm hoping he did. Um, my only other idea here is Lush. So, or any sort of um, Lush type stores. <laughs> um, I know there's a few around now, but like just, yeah, some, again, bath bombs, shower gels, things that people sometimes don't buy for themselves, but are a nice treat for someone. They've got a bath and they have bath. I think bath bombs are a great thing because they're pretty expensive to buy. So get some nice ones of those and your Christmas themed ones if you want to go that route. Anyway, oh my gosh, this has turned into longer than I expected. So I've got to get on with things now, but hopefully that's given you some ideas that you might not have already thought of. 